because there's two ways to make alkaline water. You can make alkaline water just by adding some, some baking soda or some sodium hydroxide, or you can make alkaline water through a, an electrolysis machine. Mm-hmm. And the properties will be different. Not the alkaline properties, but the properties of the water will be different because when you do electrolysis of water, you make hydrogen gas. I mean, that is how you mass produce hydrogen gas is from electrolysis of water. That's your high school chemistry you know, experiment right there, right? You put the battery in the water and all of a sudden you start seeing bubbles, off, one off the cathode, the other off the anode, which is hydrogen and oxygen respectively. So when, you, when these alkaline ionized water uh, or these electrolysis units were making alkaline water, a lot of people were getting benefits thinking incorrectly, but thinking it was the alkaline a property of the water that was making them feel healthy. But really it was the hydrogen gas that was produced from the from the alkalizer from the electrolysis machine and and now many studies many studies have shown that when you take the hydrogen gas and remove it from alkaline ionized water or used water all the benefits are eliminated and and even even the the president of the Korean Water Society which is also one of our MHF advisors he's one of the pioneers in alkaline ionized water research uh, he, he himself has done many studies showing that, yes, alkaline ionized water exerted these anti-diabetic and anti-cancer effects and a number of different things, but when the hydrogen gas was removed from the water, the benefits were eliminated. Hmm. And, and this, is, this is also a critical finding because it, it – you know, well, the medical, the medical community knew – that the alkaline the alkaline claim was did never made sense, and the scientists who did the research they never claimed the benefits for were from alkaline the alkaline property of the water because it doesn't make any sense. To, to put it in comparison, even if we subscribe to the concept that we need to alkalize our bodies and eat alkalizing foods or this kind of stuff, even if we subscribe to that, you cannot do it with alkaline water because alkaline water is not a buffer. In fact, uh, a comparison is if we look at baking soda, which is our body's natural buffer, uh, sodium bicarbonate, that's our natural buffer in our body, but we have about 10 millimolars of that. Well, if we do a comparison, about one teaspoon of baking soda can neutralize as much acid as over seven or 800 liters of alkaline water at a pH of 10. So, so these so- alkaline countertop water makers... Uh, or even adding sodium bicarbonate to water could alkalinize the water. But what you're saying is that the benefits of alkaline water would not persist unless somehow that water was also hydrogen enriched. And in the case of both sodium bicarbonate water and countertop alkaline water makers, those still aren't hydrogen enriched. Well, baking soda, adding baking soda to the water or other things, that, of course, will never have any hydrogen gas in it. And but the alkaline water countertop makers or the ionized water, they can have hydrogen gas in it at least initially if you have the right source water. And some people who have very low TDS, for example, they we measured this. You can you can measure the concentration of hydrogen gas with redox titration. The total dissolved solutes. Yes, the TDS. Yeah, total dissolved solids. And then I'm just saying we've we've measured the concentration of hydrogen gas produced via via very various of these uh, uh, these products out there. It's very easy to do now. And what we see is depending on the source water and depending on the on the ionizer, the electrolysis machine, you can have very good levels of hydrogen or very poor levels of hydrogen. And if you talk to the industry, if you talk to those who've been selling alkaline ionized waters for a long time, every single one of them will tell you this fact. It's best to drink the water fresh. And if for whatever reason, if you, they don't know, for whatever reason, if you if you're not cleaning your machine, if uh, or 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 if you leave the water out for for weeks or or so many days, it seems like the benefits are not there anymore. Well, now we know the reason why is because the hydrogen gas has just dissipated out. It's 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 out of the water because it's just a gas. It's gonna it's gonna dissipate out. And the reason why is because yeah, they had hydrogen gas initially, but now you let it sit on the counter so long, and now it doesn't. So if you drink it right away, is it hydrogen enriched water? Like if I had like a Kangen countertop water maker or something like that? Exactly. Yeah. If you drank it fresh from the faucet, uh, you know, and it's going to last for a little bit. It's not going to you know vanish within a blink of an eye type thing. But you can't leave it sitting out for weeks or something. Um, but yeah, that's the the hydrogen gas will be there. 
and then you can get some benefits. But the other thing, though, is if you live in like a, and that's only if you live in a place with with that has good TDS. If you have, you have to have like a hundred ppm of uh, TDS or something in order to get the dissolved hydrogen. So you could what what if you add add like extra minerals and stuff to it before you put it through like a countertop water ionizer? That may work, but if you consider the filters, I'm not an I'm not an expert in this area, but but if you consider that if your TDS of your source water is, say, 20 ppm, and you're going to try to increase that to 100 ppm, you know, adding you know, 80 more milligrams per liter of minerals, that's, I don't think you can do that so easily. Hmm. You might, it might be better off to move to a different source water with higher TDS levels. Would you drink ionized water from one of those countertop machines, or do you? I have in the past. I, yeah, I actually, it's one of the ways I, it's one of the reasons I know so much about this because I actually um, first got introduced to ionized water in 2009 and I started looking at the literature. I was like, man, this, this, maybe there's something to this because it doesn't, you know, the, the, what, what the claims people were making about the alkaline benefits, you know, of course doesn't, doesn't make sense, but there was research on it. And so I started evaluating that and that's when I came across this hydrogen gas. So, yeah. You know, now now that we know the benefit is from hydrogen gas, well, for me, then why don't I just focus on what the benefit is? Because all those units, they were all manufactured and designed and optimized specifically for alkaline water, not not hydrogen gas. Yeah, I'm kind of careful with them, anyways. I don't I don't use them. My dad's he's big into water filtration techniques, and he informed me about some uh, some issues with metallic ions. I guess they pass some of that water over a metal plate, and metallic ions can be present in the water that you're drinking. And so you might get a buildup of things like mercury or lead or aluminum or copper, apparently, by drinking too much from these these countertop water ionizers. So I, I personally don't really use them. You know, I, just, I just drink my well water, and I have a couple of filters that that goes through. But yeah, I guess you, you, you could always do it and just test your, test your blood metals or your hair metals and see what happens. Well, it may not be so easily. Um, and I mean— they, they try to make them, if they do them right, you know, try to make them good because they use, you know, a good platinum. Platinum is a very uh, inert electrode, but you could have alloy issues and you could have degradation of the electrodes and actually get platinum particles into the water. There's there's an ongoing, you know, it's an unknown thing. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> more okay. research needs to be done in that area. I yeah. 